Hey there, viewers! You don't have to be a nutritionist to know that you shouldn't eat fried and processed foods on a regular basis. This is because they're loaded with sodium and saturated fat, and a high diet in these components can raise your blood cholesterol levels, putting you at risk for heart diseases. But don't worry, controlling your cholesterol level is not a very difficult thing to do. It's as simple as avoiding unhealthy foods containing bad fats. And in today's video, we'll tell you 18 foods to steer clear of if you have high cholesterol. From egg yolk, cheeseburgers, mashed potatoes, red meat to applesauce, and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Egg yolk Egg yolks have one of the highest levels of cholesterol of any food, with 1,234 milligrams per 100 gram serving, or a whopping 411% of the daily value. A single yolk will provide 210 milligrams of cholesterol, while a whole provides slightly more with 212 milligrams. So almost all the cholesterol is concentrated in the yolk. If you really can't do without them, then combine eating yolks with some physical exercise. Try to eat no more than three of them in a week. The best thing would be to avoid it completely and only eat the egg whites. Do you prefer egg whites or would you rather have the whole egg? How often do you eat eggs? Is it every day, weekly? Tell us in the comments section down below. Number 2. Meat Liver Cholesterol is produced by the liver, so dishes made using this body part tend to increase its levels. This organ from most meats can contain about 564 milligrams of cholesterol per 100 grams, or 188% of the daily value. The recommended intake is no more than 300 milligrams of cholesterol for a healthy adult. Three ounces of cooked liver beef will give you 331 milligrams of cholesterol. Number 3. Ice Cream did you know that a single cup of ice cream has more fat than a hamburger and more cholesterol than 10 glazed donuts? Skip the scoop and try a cup of fresh fruit for dessert instead. Fruits are low in calories and high in fiber, vitamins and nutrients you really need, making it one of the best things you can eat for lower cholesterol. Number 4. Butter since dairy fat is mostly saturated fat, its byproduct, butter, is even higher in the fatty acid. It should be eaten in moderation to allow for healthier fat to fit into your diet. That means swap it out for healthier oils, like olive or walnut, or use nut butter on your morning toast over that butter and jam. Number 5. Alfredo Sauce Pasta night? Perhaps go with marinara or pesto as a regular sauce. While you can enjoy this sauce every so often, including it regularly may contribute to a higher risk of high blood cholesterol, especially in people who have genetically high cholesterol problems. So set a limit in the week or month based on your specific health needs and goals. Number 6. Fried Chicken Fried chicken is a double whammy because of the saturated fat found in the skin, plus the fat that soaks into the breading during the frying process. It's even worse in restaurants because of the fast food fryers that cook over and over again in the same oil. If you must have your fried chicken, take off the skin or cook some at home in a little bit of unsaturated oil like olive or avocado. You can also fry it in an air fryer to cut back on the fat. Oven fried chicken is a delicious substitute too. Number 7. Coconut Oil Coconut oil is a very controversial topic, as some people swear it's healthy, but the American Heart Association cautions against using it because of its high saturated fat content. And research has shown that it does raise cholesterol levels, both good and bad. So use it on your skin, not in your food, unless the distinct flavor is required for a specific recipe. You can also use it sparingly in food to flavor it like in baked goods, not because you think it's a health elixir, but because you're craving that nutty flavor and texture. Number 8. Macaroni and Cheese this creamy comfort food favorite packs a triple whammy of saturated fat. Often made with whole milk, butter, and full-fat cheese, mac and cheese is best reserved for a once-in-a-while treat. The pasta itself and the buttery breadcrumbs that top it all off also contribute to unhealthy cholesterol levels. Research has shown that refined carbohydrates like white bread and white pasta can increase bad cholesterol levels. If you can't live without your mac and cheese, then opt for a homemade version with whole wheat pasta and low-fat milk and cheese. Number 9. Red Meat Lamb, mutton, and pork contain high levels of cholesterol and saturated fats, more than any other meat product. This is even more harmful if you already have high levels of cholesterol. It may even be fatal if you suffer from heart disease. Instead, choose alternatives like boiled or roasted chicken and fish, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They'll satisfy your nutritional needs and keep your cholesterol in check. Number 10. Shrimp and Squid this seafood may be delicious, but it's high in cholesterol. A 3.5 ounce serving of steamed shrimp contains around 211 milligrams of cholesterol, while the same size serving of raw squid contains 233 milligrams. 
Breaded deep fried shrimp and calamari become fat laden, which makes them even a worse choice for managing your cholesterol levels. If you crave seafood, try steamed clams instead. A 3.5 ounce portion contains a more reasonable 67 milligrams of cholesterol. Number 11, mashed potatoes. The potatoes aren't the problem, it's the other ingredients. Most mashed potatoes, especially at restaurants, include hefty portions of butter, cream, whole milk, sour cream, or cream cheese, turning a perfectly healthy potato into a saturated fat bomb. Order a plain baked potato and top it with veggies, salsa, or low-fat sour cream instead. Number 12, store-bought baked goods. Muffins, cookies, and cakes combine artery-clogging ingredients like butter, sugar, and refined flour. The store-bought ones in particular often come in massive portions, which can contribute to unhealthy cholesterol levels if you indulge too often. Some commercial baked goods also contain trans fats, which are unsafe because they increase the risk of heart disease. While these dangerous fats are mostly being phased out of processed foods, it's important to check the label to be sure. If you enjoy the convenience of a grab-and-go breakfast option, make a batch of muffins on the weekend and freeze them for the future. Simply take one out of the freezer the night before you intend to eat it. In the morning, zap it for 10 to 15 seconds in the microwave for a fresh-from-the-oven healthier alternative. Number 13, Applesauce. An apple a day might keep the doctor away, but when you strip away the apple's fiber-dense skin and add sweeteners, as most applesauce makers do, you create a processed food that's high in sugar and low in fiber. This is a perfect recipe for blood sugar swings that raise cholesterol levels. Conventionally, grown apples also tend to be high in pesticides, which have been linked to obesity and metabolic syndrome. Number 14, processed meats. Processed meats such as sausages, bacon, and hot dogs are high cholesterol foods that you should eat in limited quantities. High quantities of such foods have been linked to increased rates of heart disease and certain cancers like colon cancer. A large review found that each additional 50 gram serving of processed meat per day was associated with a 42% higher risk of developing heart disease. Number 15, cheeseburgers. If you're like many Americans, you occasionally eat lunch from a fast food restaurant. But before you order that double cheeseburger, consider this. A McDonald's Big Mac has 10 grams of saturated fat, and a Wendy's Classic Double with everything has a whopping 20 grams of the same. That's more than the maximum suggested amount per day. You might want to hold the fries and the shake, or better yet, order a plain burger instead. Number 16, Package Snacks. Packaged snacks like chips, mayonnaise, crackers, and microwave popcorns contain trans fats in the form of hydrogenated oils. They're used because they increase the product's shelf life. You can stay away from these high cholesterol culprits by checking food labels carefully. If a food contains less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving, the nutrition label may still read zero trans fat. Instead, check the ingredients list. If you see the word hydrogenated, don't buy it. Number 17, refined grain products. Food items made from refined grains or flour contain refined carbohydrates, which may have a negative effect on your good cholesterol levels. Avoid eating products like white bread or pasta. You can replace these items with better alternatives like multigrain or whole wheat bread instead. Number 18, alcohol. While alcohol itself does not contain cholesterol, it can affect its levels in the blood. Drinking alcohol can raise cholesterol levels because alcohol is processed through the same organ, the liver, that's responsible for making cholesterol. Studies have shown that excessive drinking may increase bad cholesterol levels. How often do you eat processed foods? Has it caused cholesterol problems for you? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.